Okay, so let's create a little bit more complex mountain with a different type of combinations on the properties. We're not necessarily going to colorize this time, but at least work a little bit more with the shapes and get more familiar with the how shapes can interact between. So first what I'm going to do is going inside the hour layout and we'll go select right here. So we'll go increase slightly this. So we'll have a bigger area to work and we'll go create a new layout. When we create new layout, it's actually creating a new node that allowed us to create a different type of the shapes inside and we can interact. So for example, we can go create a circle and in this case, we'll just put on middle, it will be our mountain. We can modify slightly shapes of this circle, which applied. As well, we can go inside in using breakout, which randomized the bit edges. Okay, with some properties, for example, increase roughness for this randomization. As well, if we double click, we open the shape properties. Most important is look on this profile curve. So we can have it a little bit more flat look as shape or kind of steep and we'll go and use it this because it's given us a little bit flatter on top and increasing up as going above okay also let's go just take and slightly increase fallout distance for this okay and when we're done we'll go to our node view and right here we have our layout what we generated this is layout we can use it two ways to affect advanced perling Besides used all nodes, we can go on the shape guide and we using can use on a mask. So as example, if we go to shape guide, you can see overall it's increasing shape. But if we also preview in our map, you can see right here, this is all kind of low effect on all of our terrain, except, okay, where it's run away right there. This is middle point where we applied. If we go going and select as a mask, it will act differently. So instead, it's all map applying flat. We don't have it permanent applied, but to this shape, include top will apply our permanent. In some cases, you can connect both of them. So you can receive kind of effect of the masking, but same time overlaying. So let's go ahead, remove this way. And I won't just leave it as a mountain for now. So we can go next and going to next step. So at this point, we can apply some effect like erosion. And I don't like the bottom area. So we'll see how we can combine it. Let's go to natural, select erosion tools and just put it right here in the middle. Okay. With erosion tools, we can specify what type we want. Channel is more stronger one on the edges. So we can apply this. Just pop up rock hardness so the channels will be more strong. Segment carry and enable geological. So it's kind of speed up and create way more. You can see preview how far it can go. I'm going to take slightly down, kind of on the middle. And let's preview at this point. So you can see we have a nice mountain going on the middle with uh, some erosion applied to this. So next, I want to add stuff around my mountain. So I don't want to have it too flat. One other way to do it's again using our um, advanced perlin. And we also can kind of even play a little bit more. So we can take Voronai effect, switch to kind of rocky look, scale down. Okay apply this as a mask on our, you can see permanent noise and take permanent and put it between. So right now you can see how it's applied. Problem with the doing this, our mask also apply our good mountain that was on the middle. So instead that, I want to combine them together. So I'll put it one right here. We'll have it another one. We'll go select combiner, put it and we can combine this way. So this way we can see how they will work. Uh, notice right here on a combiner, we have a problem. It's mountain go over the side. So what if we connect to our combiner to masks? You can see with mask apply on top. Instead, the, um, 
set combine, I want to reverse it. So we'll go to filters and we'll just add inverse to that. Okay, and on our mask now, if we preview, you can see we applied these rocks, but not on a mountain itself, just all around. This is another way we can combine those terrains. Okay, so let's go next. Right here we have it, our combiner. Okay, we can modify a little bit on this purlin, so I want to reduce, increase maybe just kind of effect a little bit more. Effect and we'll go below, so just slightly different looking mountains, not very sharp. Okay, I can preview this point, you know, maybe even more sharp. And before I apply, you know, let's, let's do apply a rather erosion natural filter right here. So we'll place it and we'll get it stronger effect on this. So we'll go enable power, kind of give it st strong point. Okay. I'm going to lock, press F so we can lock it. And right here in advance, I can actually preview C if I can bring kind of elevation up, like right there. Okay, let's unlock it, go back to our combiner, and there we have it a nicer, more natural kind of embedding to our rocks. Okay, some areas right here, we can see rocks kind of applying nicely, so it's look good. Um, we could use it another map and uh, convert it and control as a mask on another erosion so or on advanced pearl so we can modify several different ways but I think this way we have a nice looking so far map um, let's go to um, modify a few more things I know we already use it two of the erosion filters but if we put it one more just above this will help us to kind of bring and link them together a little bit better so we can but I don't want to have it too hard so we'll just add channeling to this okay, and just bring slightly up okay on this case you can preview we will have it just nicely going combining all those two rings kind of merging them together better that way okay so here's one shape and with these shapes what we've done you don't necessarily can stock you can always add some additional properties to this so as example we can go inside the generator let's just create right L right there okay we can readjust repositioning okay let's go increase move it on the side Okay, and we can combine these two, just placed one on the middle of another one. Again, you can use it with combiners. Okay, let's go just to select. Okay, I don't need this one. Okay, connect right here. So we'll connect two of them. We can get a subtract type. Okay, or multiply, depending on which one you want it. We'll go with the try root and we'll see how it will apply it. Okay, but I want to use it actually different. Just create small crater kind of in the middle almost. Okay, we'll go select this, apply it. Right here we have our erosion done. And if we go back, preview right here. So I created just crater kind of looking for our terrain so we can move slightly up and down and right here let's go with this erosion we can lock so we'll take radial gradients and, and we can move it you can see slightly left right adjusting position you know maybe even sideways like right here so almost like impact happen 
when it was going sideways, so it's impact this way and create it. Okay, let's go ahead, preview. Okay, here we have a nice erosion again, same combining. You can see how they all come melted together. Okay, um, at this point we can go ahead and let's create a few outputs. So I'm going to select and create a few maps so we can go back after and maybe render um, inside some applications and I'm probably going to use it Vue application for this. So we can preview a little bit better. Okay, right here, bitmap application. We'll go connect it. Okay, before render, I'm going inside the settings. I'm going to increase at least 248. Um, if you don't have it professional versions, um, render maps will supply with pack when you purchase, so you can use it with a pack that is calm. So right here, I'm going preset. Actually, you know what? Let's go even higher. So I'm going to set maybe four. So it won't be that big pixelizations on the maps. And I'm going right now to rename it, set properly, render, and I will come back after I'm saving all this output maps and we'll go inside other application to combine them together.